Okay, here is two weeks, and as you can probably see, uh, I don't think, I, I'll be highly surprised if any of these are ready to move on. Uh, so, this is probably going to be a long process with this particular batch of rocks. Uh, now, the other day I had a, an idea, so, and it has to do with what I talked about last week, the whole question of can you use sand to in place of grit. So today we're going to find out. I'll be right back and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Okay, here's what I got going on. I went down to the river this morning and I collected a bunch of quartz gravel basically. Okay, and I think I think we're focusing pretty good there. All right. So I have this quartz in this three pound barrel, this three pound barrel, and this three pound barrel, but this is going to go into the lotto. What we're going to do is I'm going to put in this three pound barrel, I'm going to put a straight 60 silicon carbide grit, which is your normal step one grit, normal ish. A lot of people use 60 90. Uh, I have some straight 80, but basically it's your normal step one grit. In this barrel, thanks to last week's uh, discussion, kind of was thinking my bounce around my head. I'm going to put Ohio River sand. So not only is this sand, not only is this sand, it is free sand. It didn't come from the big box store. I didn't pay for it, and it is the actual sand that Mother Nature herself was using. Not only that, it's fresh. I got it. Oh, geez, like an hour and a half ago. So I'm going to put that into this barrel and then in the lotto, I'm going to put my normal step to uh, 120, 220 grit. Okay, before we start them, I'm going to weigh them because basically I suspect that at the end of a week, by eyesight, I won't be able to see a difference. But what we're going to do is we're going to see how much rock we lose. How much did we abrade away? Um, my suspicion is that with the... Uh, with the sand, it's not going to be much. I am curious about the the lotto running it. Um, I'm I'm planning to run two cycles, so I'm going to run it for three days, clean it off, reset it, and run it again. Um, and we'll see how it comes out. Now, a couple of things about my little experiment here. Another question that comes up a lot is, can you skip step one? Um, you really shouldn't. But here's the thing: if I take a rock like this that is pretty much almost perfectly smooth as it is. Okay. I, I really, I think I can probably get away with it. Okay. But saying you can skip step one using rocks like this is kind of like me saying I could beat Usain Bolt in a hundred meter dash as long as he gave me a 75 meter head start. And to be honest, it would probably be close even then. All right, so I'm, I'm kind of rigging the game. If you had normal rough, there is, there's no way you can skip uh, step one, okay? Uh, in addition, just to keep this fair, I have these set apart because these are some really smooth rocks to start with, and I'm gonna put a couple of those in each one so they'll have some really good ones to start with. And I have a couple that have a real, have a real rough edge to them. I know they have a real rough edge to them because I just broke them. Okay, I did that on purpose so we can see how much the grit will take away those sharp edges. That's that's what the idea is. And actually, I think I need to get a couple out of this one. Probably a little ahead. There we go. Maybe, maybe one, one more decent sized one. There you go. So now I think they're, they're loaded about the same. Okay, so the idea is... We're going to run one week in straight 60, one week in sand, three days and three days in 120, 220, and we'll see what kind of results we get probably next Sunday. All right, so let's let's weigh them up and see what, what we got going here. I'm going to, at the risk of making somebody seasick, I'm going to kind of alter the view a little bit. There's my scale. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weigh them in the barrel 
and then next week I'll weigh them in the barrel again. So the barrel weight will be consistent. What we will find out is how much rock did we lose after they're cleaned off next week. Okay, so we're going to start it up. Zero it out. And the sand barrel is 2 pounds, 14.2 ounces. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Sand barrel, two pounds, 14.2 ounces. I briefly considered playing around with it, try to get the exact same weight in all the barrels, but uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm gonna do that. Oh crap! I forgot to put one. Let's see. we're gonna put a couple of the broken ones in there. Never mind. We're gonna up it a little bit. We put a couple broken ones in that one, and a couple broken ones in this one. There we go. So it's gonna be two pound, 15.2. I added an ounce there, 15.2 ounces for the sand. Okay, let's see what we got on the regular grit barrel. We're still at zero, so wow, three pound 0 0.8 ounces, three pound 0 0.8 ounces. So I'm actually only off by 1.6 ounces. Okay, this is going to be the silicon carbide straight 60 okay all right and the lotto two pounds 11 ounces all right so here is what I wrote down and we will get these set up and ready to go and I will be well. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sh I'll. I'm going to. I will definitely video me putting the grid in, so nobody claims that I I didn't didn't put what I said I was going to put. So there we go. So I'm going to go set up over by the tumblers, and we'll go from there. All right, I've got the the 12 pound over here right now, and it's kind of amazing that after two weeks I haven't had any rocks. And it's still pretty much full. That shows how hard this stuff is. So we're going to gas it up and get it ready to go. Get it out of our way. And then we'll bring over the three pounders. And the lotto. I did add ceramic to the, the lotto. Because that's the way it runs. But what I will do is when it's done, I'm going to clean it off. And I will weigh it without the ceramics in there. We're not looking to see how much... Uh, how much ceramic we abrade away in the six days we're looking to see how much rock we do so let's see one two three All right, and this is the same uh, same silicon carbide that I'm going to put into the one three pounder. So it's the same stuff. Get it put together. I'm going to dry off that top a little bit. I don't know that you have to, but I, I tend to do it. All right, let's put the top on. Okay, got the 12 pound ready to go. Let's see if I can get it in there without knocking over my grit. Would be a, that would be a problem. Okay, so there we go. So here we have the three pound that is going to have, um, it's going to have the silicon carbide in it. Okay. And you're watching, I'm going to, I'm putting, I have not moved my container. I'm putting the same stuff in that I put in the 12 pound. And I promise you that as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm not going to take this apart and change something or do anything like that. Okay. There you go. This is not a, a peer reviewed double blind study, 
but it is what it is. I'm going to eat the, the lid that's going to go on the silicon carbide. It says rough on it. The other one will say fine on it. So that's how we'll know. The rough barrel is a silicon carbide and the fine barrel is the sand. This is fun. I've, I've missed this. Uh, was off all winter. Okay. There's... Oops. I used the wrong lid. That lid says fine on it, so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep it consistent. Here's the rough lid on the rough barrel. Okay, now I'm going to get the sand barrel. It says fine grit on it. Okay, we'll put some water in it. And I'm going to close this. go get my sand. Here's the sand. And as I said, this is genuine, authentic Ohio River sand. Okay, and I don't know that I can fit this in there, so I'm going to have to put it in something else. Okay. I'm going to dump the sand into here. Okay. And I'm going to do one, two, three. You know what? I want to throw a little more in there. Give it every chance it's got. There you go. All right. So now we have a barrel of sand in it. Okay. I'm going to have to clean my little scoop because I don't want sand in my uh, in my 120 or my 60 weight grit. Okay, so there we go. Put that lid on. Put that lid on. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Now, I gotta bring over the water. Okay, get all the water out of it. Okay. Now the lotto, we're going to use two tablespoons of 120-220. That is the normal step two uh, setup. But, actually I want to make sure I have the lotto plugged in. Yep, I do. Okay, so... There's the lotto. Okay, here's my 120-220 grid. Uh, the higher the number, the less abrasive. So that's that's the thing. This is not as abrasive as the grit you use in step one. I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I love that. I'm going to move the camera so you can get a look at what's going on there. That's how the lotto does it. Okay, so the plan is 
I'm gonna run the lot out for three days. I'll clean them off, weigh them, and run them for three more days. Now, theoretically, here's the thing. If I'm running this this way for six days, even if it does replace step one, it's only saved me a day. So is it, is it really worth it? And honestly, like I said, using rocks like this is kind of stacking the deck. If I put actual rough rocks in there, there's no way this would work. Okay. Um, so let's get the rest of them going. Go. And they are moving. Alright, well we'll be back in a week and we'll weigh these out and we'll see what the results are. Did you hear that? Is that the rock tumbling police coming for me because I put sand in the rocks? I hope not.